So guys, a little update on the Runcam Micro Swift 2. This is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and we're going to talk about focus. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Okay, so the focus of this video is actually the focus of the camera. I noticed during the last flight video, and you can take a look at that, there's a link under this video, but while I was flying, I noticed that the camera seemed to be just a tad out of focus, but I wasn't sure. So when I got back, I went ahead and unscrewed the lens and refocused it. I used my little focus chart here, plus I went outside with the goggles and adjusted it as well. But what I found was when I went ahead and moved the lens back and forth a little bit, it actually did look better. So what I did was I put some of this foam tack on the threads. I actually removed this ring that was on there and uh, actually it cracked when I was trying to adjust, probably my fault, but I left it off, put a little foam tack on the threads, then I went back outside and just adjusted it till it looked perfect through the goggles, and then I let it dry, and now it looks pretty good. Just a note guys, this TX25 transmitter right here from Runcam needs 5 volts, and you can't run it on more than 5 volts, so I've got a regulator right here embedded in the plane at the top and it takes the two cell voltage from the battery and converts it to five volts. So let's do a little test flight and compare the two footages from yesterday and today. I'm just going to go and put them side by side on the screen so you can see the difference between the two flights and you can see for yourself if it looks a little bit more in focus. Okay so let's go do it. So my impression was the Micro Swift 2 actually did look better after I focused it myself. So I think maybe it was just a tad off at the factory. What do you think? Uh, leave me a comment under the video and give me a piece of your mind. 